Hello guys, welcome on CryptoGene, on the smallest crypto YouTube channel out there. Thank you for joining me. Today I'm going to talk about hard forks in general and how they can help us to build up our wealth. Changes in crypto world can literally happen overnight. While some of them stem from a billionaire's tweets, others can be caused by hard forks. What happens during a hard fork is that a new set of rules for validation of transactions is introduced and implemented. These new rules are incompatible with the old ones. As a result, the transactions, which are seen as valid by the nodes with upgraded software, are seen as invalid by the nodes which haven't upgraded their software yet. In other words, both blockchains have the same transaction history before the hard fork, while after the hard fork, each of them follows its own rules. If a hard fork is planned and everyone agreed to the upgrade, the old blockchain will die after the split, as there would be no miner to maintain the network and validate transactions. If, however, a hard fork is not planned, and there is a disagreement among the network participants regarding the upgrade, we may actually end up with two viable chains. Bitcoin Cash is a compelling example of this. It was created in 2017 from a fork of Bitcoin. The reason for the split was that the community could not agree on a solution to a scalability problem. As a result of the fork, those who held Bitcoin received the same amount of the new cryptocurrency, Bitcoin Cash. Does this mean that you would have just magically doubled your money? Yes and no. But you did indeed double the amount of your coins. Let me explain. It is the market that sets the value of both coins. It means that demand and supply will determine their value so that it's rather unlikely for a new coin to be valued at exact same price as the old one. However, if the new coin introduces new features and earns trust, its value may rise with time. Another great example is Ethereum Classic. It was created due to a disagreement among Ethereum developers regarding how to react to a $64 million theft from one of the biggest applications built upon Ethereum blockchain. What happened was that DAO, a smart contract on Ethereum which raised $160 million, was hacked. Much like finding a loophole in a sloppily written real-world contract, a hacker exploited a flaw in the badly programmed DAO smart contract. Important to note that Ethereum's developers were not responsible for the DAO attack, as they were not the ones who programmed the smart contract. A bit like you cannot blame Gmail for your phishing attacks, so keep that in mind. That said, what if you could just hit the undo button and return the stolen money back to its owners? Vitalik Buterin and the majority of developers supported the idea and carried out the DAO hard fork. And so they erased the transactions up to the moment before the attack. This way, all investors could get their money back. Not everybody agreed to the solution though. Some developers believed that code was law and one had to live with the consequences of a badly programmed smart contract. Also, if transactions can be reversed with good intentions, what stops someone from doing something similar with bad intentions? Since the majority supported the idea to return the funds, the DAO hard fork was carried out. After the fork, the smaller group continued to work with the old blockchain, which is now known as Ethereum Classic. The new blockchain kept the name Ethereum. If more of such unplanned hard forks happen, how can you claim your coins? Well, for this purpose, you'd have to find a hardware or a software wallet provider 
which supports the new uh, forked coin and simply follow their instructions. Remember that software and hardware wallet manufacturers, as well as crypto exchanges, will offer their support for the coins only if it's viable for them, meaning only if the new forked coin will offer some value for the market and if it will have enough developer support. So just to be safe, choose established companies, such as Exodus for software wallets and Trezor for hardware wallets. Will there be more unplanned hard forks in the future? Well, the truth is, we can't know. But I personally believe that given the fact that the cryptocurrencies still need time to be developed and the developer communities have been growing, the chances are high that there will be disagreement among the developers. As a result, we'll probably have another forked cryptocurrency. Anyway, only hard forks of cryptocurrencies with big market cap and huge developer communities can result into profitable forked coins. So keep an eye on those uh, big players. And that was everything from me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you next time. Bye.